Hey, you guys. Thank goodness that was quick. See who's out there. Hey, Debbie, how are you? We finally got some snow and it's snowing again. What's it doing for you guys? Hey, Lisa. I'm flying solo tonight. Michelle told me I had to practice. So I'm going to give it a whirl, see what happens. Hey, Lorna. Right at the moment, I'm fighting my E6000. I kind of wish I'd turned on the glue gun. They would grab quicker. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Mags. You guys get snow? We did finally. And it's snowing again now. So this one I have to wait. So I found these, um, <laughs> I found these jars. Aren't these cute? I mean, they're cute as they are, but I decided surely I could come up with something better to do. Well, not better, but different maybe. So I'm going to glue some resin to them and then paint them. Hey, Paula. And uh, then I think I'm going to stamp. Remember those label stamps that I got from um, IOD, like for marmalades and stuff? I'm going to stamp labels. They'll be like really fancy schmancy. Ooh. Like, um, like you would get marmalades and jellies and things. You guys think we'll see how far we get with them. See how long it takes this glue to set up. See if I'd have turned on the hot glue gun, that would hold them in place till the E6000 grabbed. But you know, by the time I thought of it, it was time to hit the button. So we'll see. We shall see. Did I miss anybody? Hey, Jody. No singing tonight, huh? So I'm going to glue up yeah, the rest of these. And then I'll start with the first one I glued. Of course, if I'd have really been thinking, this one just is not sitting. Although the glue's trying to grab, so oh well. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Yeah, it's snowed for you today, Paula, right? Hey, Michelle, you guys give her a hard time. She's making me fly solo. She's being so mean to me today. Oh, nice, Tammy, nice. See, now she's going to make me practice. I got to read and accomplish something. We'll see how that goes. We've played this game before, right? Um, maybe I'll glue all of these up and then stick them all down at once. We'll see. We'll just see. Oh my gosh, you guys should have seen me trying to get everything ready on this desk. I have stuff everywhere. It looks like I'm really, really going to be creating something, and it's just going to be so simple. Hey, Esme. <laughs> Finally, huh? It's all good. All good. All right. I think I had this one up in the corner. I kind of tried to lay some of them out. 
and at least get that part a little bit ahead. All right. So if you guys have a Dollar General by you, um, that's where I got these. They aren't Dollar Tree, so don't go to the Dollar Tree looking for them because that's not where they are. They have a couple other ideas too, depending on how this works out. You kind of got to talk the wires into laying down flat in the back. But um, I think I'm going to take these to market. I think they'll be really cute at market. So we'll see. But I'm gluing these on first. Then when everything dries, I can paint it all at once with the um, DIY paint. I like how I said that like it's a question. With the DIY paint. Um, kind of straight, kind of centered. That works. Um, but anyway, yeah, then I'm going to come back in and give it some more detail to the resin pieces. Probably wax some, probably do some gold on some, things like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm the one that's been fussing and whining about the snow, right? So on my way out to the Dollar General, guess who almost slipped and wiped out and would have re-injured the tailbone? Guess that would have been fun, right? I'm finally getting to where I can kind of sit on some furniture without having to really stop and think about it first. <laughs> Debbie. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny. We'll see if you guys are interested in them, you can reach out. You guys know where to find me. All right, let's see here. And I've noticed, too, the ones that I didn't pour. Oh, and that's something else I want. I'm going to be, like, all over the place tonight. Um, you guys might want to pay a little bit of attention to your resin bottles for those of you that are pouring resin. Not all resin is created equal as far as toxic toxicity is concerned, I guess. Um, the one that I'm using... I should definitely have paid more attention before I started pouring and I have nobody to blame but myself. Um, but it is the, it's the B bottle. So these have, these come in an A and a B and the B most assuredly, you should not be doing this um, indoor, with all windows closed. You need to be really well ventilated or outside, um, even in a ventilated area, a respirator is probably a good idea. All that is on here and it has a clear and distinct warning um, with the lung situation. Um, so you guys may want to look into some of that before you start pouring some of these. Hey, Jackie. Um, that being said, I won't be pouring anymore until I'm, um, I'll set up a table out in the garage and open, hey Louise, and hi Debbie, gosh, I missed a lot of you, um, and I'll be blowing, um, the Hubs has a big shop um, fan, and I'll be blowing that out, so it'll pull the air out for me, um, yeah. No, not it's it's causing a lot of lung damage for people from what and respiratory problems from what I'm understanding. So I just you know wanted to pass that along. Just be sure you're reading your labels and your because you can't smell them. They don't have like this one. It has no odor, so you just don't stop and think that it could still be super toxic. So yeah, I mean I'm not trying to you know criticize a product or anything. It was my own fault because I didn't read the label. So um, just just read your labels, I guess is what I'm saying. Kind of know what you're getting into. So that's all. 
<laughs> yeah, I wish. No, that's that's the E6000 that'll get you stoned. Oof. So this one, I, I already had these done. So this one I'm going to paint first. Um, and I have two colors. I'm, this is the crinoline. So I'm going to do like probably half of them in this pretty crinoline color. And then this is just a cheap, um, super cheap uh, chalk paint. I thought about using gesso, but then it's going to take several, several, several coats. So I thought, yeah, we'll just use this. Get it on there and call it done. And this may still take a couple coats, but. I'm not sure if I want, I mean, I know I want full coverage on there, but. Sometimes they dry a little more opaque than they are wet, so we'll see. We'll see how many coats it's going to take. All right, I'm going to lose a thread. A thread. How about, oh my goodness, that bristle is totally bent. Hold on. Okay, needed a trim. So then we'll come back to the one I did first. I don't know about you guys, but this workspace got really tiny, really quick. You guys have that problem? Yeah, no gesso. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, I just, you know, I encouraged, you know, I got so excited about it. And I know some of you were doing it that I was like, dang, I really wish I'd have paid more attention. Note to self, be more responsible. For sure. I don't know if any of you guys do chalk painting or furniture or whatever, but... I love this brush. It has a name, I'm sure, but I, of course, have no idea. Ooh, that E6000 is still wiggly. So what you guys all been up to? It is a cute brush, right? Hey, Carla. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks, Louise. There's worse things, I reckon, huh? At least it at least it knows I'm here, I guess. Alrighty, there's that one. Good news is this paint dries pretty quick. So it won't be like all night waiting on paint to dry. So that's that's a benefit, I guess. Oh, and they're doing dishes down in the kitchen. So we may hear some entertaining conversation from down there. Although that being said, Amanda made some more of her prize winning cookies. See what I mean about not sitting, see the, whoop, where'd it go? Yeah, these were a dollar. They're a dollar at the Dollar General. But see how that one's wanting to pop up off the, you guys see it? There it is. It's wanting to pop up off of there. Hold it down for a few minutes. That's where the hot glue comes in handy. You guys probably already know that, though. The hot glue would hold it down snug while the E6000 was grabbing. Get some paint in there.
just packing for, oh my gosh, a crop. That sounds like so much fun. I always think it sounds like a lot of fun until I have to stop and think about like, what does one take and what do you do? And what if you're the only weirdo, like not scrapbooking? I mean, are they called crops still because they're scrapbooking or are people making junk journals or is it just paper crafting? What is a crop these days? I've never done one. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm the crazy lady that would show up with, you know, a truckload of stuff. And everybody else would have, you know, this one cute little tote bag full of things. Until other people will be there. Well, yeah, there's that too. Yeah, because what happens if there's some, I don't know. What if you don't like everybody who's there? Then what? And don't you usually wind up with like a roommate? See, and I'm not good with that unknown roommate situation. Because if they're like... I don't know. Like one of my daughter, I've got a couple of daughters that just, ugh. You go to a hotel with, you go to a hotel room with them, and I swear you're there ten minutes, and everything they brought with them is strung everywhere. Of course, they're those kids that when they were home, you just closed their bedroom door every time you walked by. It was that or argue all the time. Anybody have kiddos like that? You're always the odd person out. Paper animation things. That sounds like fun, Jody. I want to see pictures. You got pictures? I pulled up some videos for you. Oh, nice. She pulled up some videos for us. Did you guys hear that? That's that nosy lady on my computer talking. Oh, Maggie used to go to him. Yeah, it isn't worth the hassle, right? Soon enough, they don't live here and they're in charge of their own space. And yeah, when they're little, that's different. But I don't know. It seems like once they hit that 14, 15, whatever, it reflects upon you, not me at that point. Got a couple of the kids that are like me. They like everything where it belongs all the time. Everything has a home and that's where it should be. And a couple of them went totally the other direction. Then the rest of them are kind of in the middle. It just depends. You know, I know better than to keep putting more wet paint on top of wet paint, but it doesn't seem to stop me from doing it. What are you guys doing over here? The bathroom is mine. <laughs> yeah, if you're the only female in the house, the bathroom is like, ugh. It's either got to be like one for you and it's sacred space or you just have to go in and hose it down and then it's your turn. I don't know what it is about boys and bathrooms. 
can make a disaster in one so quick. Oops, see it moving? It's trying to grab though. Be all right. Some paint on there. So my other idea for these, oh, I had to get really loud there, sorry, is I think I'm going to go back and get some more of these because see how cute they are when they're just like this and then stamp a label stamp or um, I don't think I would want resin, but something up here and then see if I can find like some small hooks and make like, um, like to hang keys on or the hand towels in a bathroom or your kitchen towels kind of thing. I think they could be super, super, super cute, but they're thin. So I may have to really think about that. Uh-oh, you're going to, yeah, you were talking about, it's a local thing, right, Lorna? And Carla's still up. Oh my goodness, and she's getting up at 4 a.m. You better be going to bed. Yeah, it is hard to wear dirty clothes, isn't it? Oddly enough. Socks and underwear, you can turn those inside out. I mean, I get that whole thing, but your jeans don't look so cute inside out. Uh-oh, who do I need to be a roommate with? Yeah, if there's another neat freak in the group, let me know. If we ever do a group thing, you and I will bunk. Where do they get these? The Dollar General. Dollar General. So there's the Dollar Tree and the Family Dollar and the Dollar General. The Dollar Tree, tree, is the only one that's actually everything in the whole store is a dollar. Family Dollar and Dollar General just have um, a lot of things that are a dollar, but all different price ranges. But these were a buck. And I thought, shoot, they already have the metal ring and the hanger and they're a cute jar shape for a dollar. I can work with that. And I knew almost as soon as I saw them what I wanted to do with them. The idea of doing the like, oh, cup, no, cup hooks wouldn't work. I was thinking, oh, a cup hook, or what a cup, no, cup hooks won't work. These aren't thick enough. The boards aren't thick enough for a cup hook. I think any paint, there it goes. And I don't care too much if the paint's going every which way because I think I might want to come back and, um, yeah, these will need two coats too. This might take a little longer than I thought. Oh, wait. That's all right. I'll do the other coat in the other color. We'll still get our half and half colors. We'll see. We'll see. Figure it out. Hey, Laurel. So let's see here. Yeah, dollar, gen absolute, oh my gosh, Lisa. That being said, have you been like south? I swear once you get to southern Indiana and keep going farther south, there's like a dollar general every five miles. And that might be a slight exaggeration, but not by lots and lots. They... I don't, it's like they do the, and, and their grocery section is bigger and bigger the farther south you go. It's weird to me. It's like, whatever. If they started carrying fresh produce, I think they would put some of the grocery stores and Walmarts out of business, tell you the truth.
I've never seen so many. It's it's weird. And the hubs thought I was exaggerating till the last time he went to Tennessee with me, and then he realized I really wasn't. I mean, not that I would ever exaggerate or anything, but you know. Okay. A couple more, and we got these all covered for the first coat. Three in your town. Wow. See, and where I am, Lisa, it's like we have our gas station mini mart and we have the Dollar General. And that's the only business right here in, well, and the post office that's open half a day. And that's it. That's all we got. We used to have grade school. They closed the grade school. Now they all get bussed to the next town. We used to have a little, um, like a burger joint, like a mom and pop burger joint. That's closed. There used to be like a really nice um, hardware kind of store he passed away, so that closed. His family didn't have any interest in running it, which is a shame because it was super nice. Yeah, great stuff. Good quality stuff. All right, there's that one. One more. We'll have the base coats done. Yeah, she is. It's like her voice affected her fingers, right? I bet she's multitasking. What do you want to bet? Or I bet you she's in chat with someone and they're poking fun at me. Should we ask them? Okay, almost, almost, almost. And this metal ring they put on here, like for a dollar, I mean, I know I'm getting, getting a little bit ridiculous, but look, they even put little, can you wait, let me see. There they are. They even screw, they're not even just glued on. They screwed the metal rims on there. So I feel like for a buck, it's really pretty cool. And I don't have to cut them all out. I know, right? Sometimes they are piled up all the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sure, Michelle. Give her a hard time for me, you guys. I don't think I put enough glue on these wings. I might have to re-glue these later. They were a little concave. I don't think I... You guys run into that sometimes with the E6000, you got to put a big thick glob on there so it'll grab. All right, let's see here. This one's pretty dry. How dry is that one? That one's got a minute to go. These first ones are pretty close, though. Worst case scenario, I guess I could grab... The heat gun, but yeah, no. That one's not too bad either. All right, so we'll let these finish drying. Oh, hey, maybe I should get that whole part of that little guy covered. What do you think? There we go. There 
There we go. That'll work. Now I feel like I need to check all of them. Okay. Oh, I think says me. <laughs> right? Get her, Lorna. Get her. All right. Let's put these over here. Let's see if I did not Let's see how much is left in here. So what are you trying to say, Lorna, that I'm boring? Is that it? Gee whiz. Oops, I need a towel. Hang tight. Oh, let's see here. I wasn't going to wash this, but... I don't really want to put this paint in or this. Yeah, this white paint. I don't want it getting in my thing. <laughs> I know. What's she trying to say? That I have no sense of humor? You're the only one that's funny? Oh, because she laughs at your jokes and I don't. I get it. Well, you know, we can't all be everything for everyone, right? Hey, Angie. Hey, Deidre. Oh, Deidre, I didn't see your question the first time, honey. No, I haven't invoiced for Monday yet. Those will come. Um, I'll probably do them tomorrow. I wasn't sure I was going to sell tonight. And then I just, I don't know. That's work. This is play. I just really didn't feel like working. I wanted a day off, but I still wanted to come hang out. Hey, Jennifer. Aw, feel better. I hate when you guys don't feel good. You're right. I Well, I have to like be really laughing hard, like out loud hard, then I will snort and snort and own it. And everybody, why is it when you snort, people have to be like, oh my God, you snorted. And it's like, yeah, so I don't understand why everybody makes such a big deal out of it, but I do think it's hilarious. And other people snorting makes me laugh even harder. Oops, I just got a message from somebody. Hold on a second, guys. Um, Actually, I'm not going to close it and go look for it because then I just have to figure out how to get back. I'll look at them later. Let's see here. Is Deb Packwood here? Deb, if you're here, will you type in chat so I know you're here? I do owe her an email, and I thought I had responded, and I went and looked, and I did not. So somebody holler at me if we see Deb Packwood, please. Let's see. Right. Yes. And the more they snort, the funnier it is. Exactly. Exactly. I'm trying to think what it was Michelle had me laughing about. What was it last week or the week before? And I couldn't help it. And the harder I tried not to laugh, the more I laughed. As soon as I thought I got it under control, she'd giggle and I'd go start all over again. Yeah. I'm that girl. Like, I cannot laugh and do really good till I make eye contact with you, especially if there's sarcasm involved. If there's sarcasm involved, I'm going to lose every single time. And I kind of don't care. Because funny is funny, whether you're laughing at yourself or somebody else. Right? I mean, who else comes on YouTube and says, hey, guess what? I broke my butt. 
Oh my gosh. And for everybody who wasn't here earlier, I almost wiped out in the driveway today because we finally got snow and guess who almost fell and rebroke the butt. Yep. It, it was probably highly entertaining for anyone watching me trying not to fall. But I saved it. And see, this is why I don't go spend a lot of money on manicures either, because I don't know how to not get my fingers and everything. They were gold last week. Found some really cute navy blue glue on nails, though, that I really happen to like. Don't know if you guys do navy blue, but kind of cute. I think that's one of my favorite things about this little brush is it fits right in those jars perfectly. And this is that DIY paint that I tell you guys about all the time that I love. We're getting there. I think this one's drier. Let's do this one. Oh, Lisa, I was going to ask you, where's your shop at again? I think we're going to be out and about this weekend. And I can't remember where your shop is. I mean, I know it's not your whole shop. You have a booth in a shop, but you know what I mean. I think it would be super fun to come see it. I should probably look at the chat and read the answer to that question. You should use it, Mags. You should use it. Depending on how fast this stuff dries, we're going to go a few more steps with it, but we'll see how far we get and how long it takes things to dry. And I was thinking, what do you guys think about um, with these jars to like, I don't know, like, you know, like when you're at the thrift store and you find, um, frames with not so attractive artwork in them to paint out the artwork and like put three of these across. You know what I mean? Go visual here with me. So you'd have, you know, and space them out. So they'd be like on the canvas or whatever and inside the frame and then put a hook and a hook and a hook or like, old doorknobs, not the big ones, but like cabinet round knobs and put knob, knob, knob. That way you could hang it on the wall and you could use it for like what, keys and things like that. What do you guys think of something like that? Am I pushing it or do we think it might be cute? Oh, it would be nice if I needed two trailers. Marion, okay, it's in Marion Jake's Antiques, perfect. You know what? I'm just going to write it down because I'll forget. And since I'm on paper, Marion Jake's Antiques. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. We won't be far from it. at all. Well, 
like a half hour, but still. I think it'll be Sunday. I was sitting here thinking, I think it's Sunday. We'll be down there. <laughs> My secretary's in chat. Yes, yeah, she is. Talk about spoiled I am. Jeez Louise. Uh-oh. Darn it. I have to quit saying geez Louise because Louise is going to start charging me a dollar every time I say it. I don't know why I say that so much. Catchphrases. Come on, get in there. There it goes. Okay. And thankfully, the clay paint dries faster than the chalk paint. It is a farmhouse look, yeah, for sure. Oh, that one's broke. Darn it. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Oh, no. Somebody just brought me the bribery cookies. They are so good, you guys. Ooh, I should do like Esme did with her orders at Christmas time. She sent everybody a Christmas cookie. Should send everybody one of Amanda's cookies. I don't know. Is there like regulations against that? Oh yeah, see I don't know if I don't know if I would put the resin on the ones with the hooks, Paula. I feel like maybe um I would just do uh stamping or maybe some stenciling. Probably not the resin if I'm going to put hooks. I feel like the resin if it was as dimensional as you know what I mean? I feel like it would just get in the way. Like it make it more cumbersome, kind of. So I feel like if I were to put hooks on them, I would do stenciling or um, stamping. I'll fix the back on that one later. Man, that's a bummer. Oh well. Oh, well, it was a dollar, Patty. Let's don't stress out. To buy the recipe. Oh, my gosh. They are so good. They're like a, like a, like a peanut butter cookie. Um, and then we're putting dark chocolate chips in them. They are just amazing. But they're, you know how like peanut butter cookies tend to get um, dry? These are like ridiculously moist. They're so good. And I like that it's a makes a smaller batch. That way you don't like have, you know, you're not grabbing one every day as you walk through the kitchen. They're so good, though. I haven't tried freezing them yet. I do want to try freezing them and see how they hold up. Because not all cookies freeze well, I feel like. Yeah, I think I want them all cream color. I don't think I want them white. The more I'm looking at them, I don't. What do you guys think? 
I feel like the cream is going to look better, don't you think, than the all white? And I'm going to get more of them. I'm going to run back out tomorrow and get what they have left. I think they only had like 10 or 12 of them left. I think I'm going to like these. Can you guys just see it now? There will be a run on the Dollar General. Um, there, any place I drive by now, be running in there to buy all the canning jar plaques. I'm actually literally sitting here trying to figure out how many does the hubs pass on the way home? Because he would stop if I asked him to. Hey, Donna. Well, thanks for sharing with us there, Lorna. By all means, get in your jammies. I will have you guys know I'm already, well, I sleep in t-shirt and sweatpants, so I kind of just change from one to the other. Even when I have my pajamas on, I look like I did all day. No fancy jammers around here. <laughs> I like the cream, right? Yeah. Oh, I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, maybe. You know, Debbie, you just gave me an idea. I'm going to sit on it for a minute. I need to let it percolate. You gave me an idea, though. We'll see where it ends up. It'll bounce around in my brain for a day or two, and we'll see what happens. So what do you guys think? I'm going to an auction this weekend, and I don't think I'm going to be able to stream live. I could in the Facebook group. Do you guys want me to stream live from the Facebook group or do you want me to record it and post it here on the YouTube? What do you guys, you guys vote, which do you prefer? Oh shoot, I have to actually look at the chat when I ask questions now, don't I? Hold on. I'll tell you guys something. I do not ever come. Well, I shouldn't say never. I don't come watch a chat unless I have to double check in order. Maggie's in flannels. Yes, this conversation could definitely go off the rails really quickly. Debbie's first in line for the recipe. Gotcha. YouTube and Facebook. YouTube, YouTube. Okay, so, so far YouTube's winning. Wow, Michelle, you got outvoted quick. Jeepers. Since it's you, maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do a Facebook. Just because it was Michelle. And then I can do a YouTube. Because that would force me to practice some another new skill. Because you guys know I've never recorded and then posted. And when I, you know, before YouTube changed it and you had to have a thousand subscribers to be able to go live remotely... I used to stream live for you guys. 
And people always thought I was talking to myself anyway. But the weird thing is I really would be talking to myself. So it might be a silent one. Probably not. Maybe I'll make the hubs walk right with me and I can just talk to him and then I'll feel like I'm talking to you guys. So maybe you guys will get to hear him in the background too. That'll be fun. I have to remind him to use his politically correct vocabulary. He could go all trucker on us pretty quickly. Oops, see that one's really not, see this one just really is not drying at all. The glue, I mean. All right, so there's that. Stick that in the wall. Oh, shoot. Darn it. I thought that was the last one. And it was not. I can get that water out of there. Oh, I thought you were saying beer. I was like, wait, who has beer? Okay, this will be the last one. Then I can plop it in the water bucket. Okay, so now I'm kind of thinking, what color do you guys think for stamping? I know you don't know which stamps I mean yet, but if you hang on, give me, let me get this one done and then I'll show you. But do you think, all I got out was black. I don't know if I have any permanent ink in any other color besides black. Does that make, I mean, other than like really cutesy colors, like blue and green there but they're not like vintagey distressed kind of colors you know what i mean they're like bright colors i don't think i have a pretty because honestly i feel like a pretty brown would be the best but i think i'm gonna have to settle for black of course i could dry brush back over it right what do you guys think if i do black dry brush back over or i could just sand it a little bit and distress it off a little right You guys think you can handle trucker talk? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and that's still my sinus gunk going on. Oh, wow. Look at all of that I missed on this one. Oof. Oh, well. Oh, well. Tis what it is, right? Not wigging out over it. I'm coming back over the stuff. Yeah, archival and coffee would be cool, but I don't think I have, I think, I really do think all I have is, let me see if I have a brown. I feel like I bought a brown last time I found inks on clearance, but see, and that's where I'm bad, you guys. I only buy these when they're on clearance. I don't think, and honestly, this Hampton Arts one is probably my favorite, but I think it's dry. I do have the archival, but I really think that Hampton Arts one was my favorite. Let me look really quick. It's right here. Let's see. If I did indeed. So I have a brown by color box and a brown shimmer. It's some weird brand that I'm sure I bought on clearance somewhere too. Let's see. And I don't have re-inkers for any of these black ones. And one of them was dry and I don't remember which one. So I'm gonna have to play around with them here for a minute. Okay, so these are going on the one that's plain. This I don't need anymore. 
this is soaking wet. It can go on the floor. Put the water there so I don't spill. Yeah, I'm reorganizing, so I have elbow room. All right, let's see what we have here. And I just use, um, these are all those label ones that came in that IOD pack. They're all like marmalades and stuff. And I use old packaging as my stamp pads because then I can make them go round things if I want to. Just a little FYI. It's what I do. Let's see what this brown looks like. Oh, yeah, brown it is, don't you guys think? I know you can't really, really see it, but I'm going to do the brown. I feel like the black is just going to be too obnoxious. We'll do a brown one, and then if you guys don't like it, we'll switch. We'll try a different one. Okay. And no, I almost never clean my stamps. All right. So let's see here. I want to pull out all the bigger ones. And I'm going to stamp first, and then I'll come back and start detailing. But then at least we got that far before. I think I like that one on there. Yeah, that one's the wrong shape. That one. And there's this one. Ooh, this one's really big. What's that one look like? That's not bad. That one's a bigger one. And these are the medium sized ones for the other ones. One moment while I sit over here and totally talk to myself. She can't drink store-bought root beer. Wait, how do you make your own root beer? I thought for a second brown stays on was a root beer. <laughs> Really, Donna? Okay. Can, where do you get... I didn't know you could get refills for them. Color box is usually pigment. This one says dye. What is the difference between pigment and dye ink? Like, seriously. I know I always overthink it and never can remember which one is the better... These stamps, Donna, they're the IOD stamps. Let me see if I have, I don't think I kept the packaging. Let me see. I did not keep the packaging, but this is a different one. It's the Iron Orchid IOD. And this is all knobs. I'm cooking up an idea for this one, too. I just haven't got the base quite ready yet, but it stamps out like this. So you could do, like, all dresser knobs, kitchen knobs, things like that with them. So, and then I also picked up this one last time I was um, in town. One of the ladies in town has an antique shop, and she carries a lot of the um, molds and and the, that's where I get my DIY paint and things like that. But this one stamps out. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Up here. These, these different um, barnwood patterns. So I want to play around with those some too. You use root beer ex extract, sugar, yeast, and water. Fill in old six ounce Coke bottles and cap them with your grandmother's bottle capper. Wait five days or so and you have root beer. Interesting. And the longer it sits, the less sweet it is. 
Interesting. Really? I did not know that about the color box. So wait, did you guys answer my, wait. Different formulas, and yes, you can get re-inker. Okay. So did, hey, Sharon. So did anybody answer the dye versus pigment? You had a problem buying them, like couldn't find them, or a problem like it was a, it was a fun addiction? Dye ink is permanent. Okay. Pigment ink is like you can move it. A fun addiction. Yeah, this I don't know. It's weird. I don't I don't have a lot of like that's not true. That was about to be an enormous fib. But I did downsize a lot of my stamps. I used to do a lot of stamping, but I used to do a lot, a lot of card making. And when I decided I probably wasn't gonna go back hot and heavy into the card making, I really downsized on my stamps. And now I'm trying to, I want stamps for like the journals and decor kind of stuff. Hmm. Interesting. See, and for the longest time, you guys are talking about stays on. This is going to show you what I really, how much I don't know. Um, honestly, for the longest time, I thought stays on was just for embossing, like the clear stuff and you would stamp and then sprinkle your powder over it, emboss it. I really thought that's all stays on was for. I didn't realize that they actually had colors and that you could then um, still emboss over the colored stuff. I, you know what I mean? I've really, it never occurred to me until I saw a lady, of course, on the YouTube do it. And then I was like, so excited. It was like a whole new world. Okay. And I'm weird. I have to stand to stamp and to get everything kind of sort of squared away. And obviously hold my breath. And I almost always manage to miss a spot, which is super annoying. Nope, I got it all. See, and I like that it's not perfect. Because I would typically, see, I don't even have to come back and distress that now because I didn't use the black. But if I want to, it'll just, see like where it's not a good hit right, right there. I can come back and distress some of those other places so that it looks a little bit matchy. So it's not the only place. And that's the only bad thing about having the resin on there first because this didn't really want to bend to let me get in there, but that's okay. Not gonna worry about it. Nice. I think these are gonna be kind of cute, don't you? Then come back in and do a little bit of like, um, I thought it was gonna age that, you know what I mean? Like antique it, but I don't know how much texture and depth I want, I'm standing up looking for something, guys. Um, didn't know how much I wanted to, should I shove a little wax down in there and then gild over it a little? What do we think? Hmm, see, yeah, Lucy, I only ever knew, Is am I, am I thinking of the right one? Is it stays on you guys? I have not, Sharon. Am I sub to you? Hold on. See, that's something I really need to do is come back and 
I need to put that on my thing too. I am subscribed to you. Why doesn't it tell me when you knew? She just did a new video, you guys, like 36 minutes ago. I'm over here peeking at your channel. Oh, and she's got jackpot fines. And she stamped vellum and acetate. I will for sure. And I've got my ear little bell dinged too. So why does it not? I've not gotten any notifications. I will go look at them for sure though. For sure, Sharon. Yeah, they do. They have their own channel. Yep. You did your first live. Good for you. Oh my goodness. Are you in the Facebook group, Sharon? If not, um, Michelle, if yep, Michelle's still here. Um, if you would pop the Facebook group in for me, please. Unding the bell and reding it. Okay. Will do. Somebody else told me that too. I don't know that I actually did it, but you know, I don't always mind well. I forget. All right, let's see. What do you guys think? Should I antique these and then put the gold over them or should I just, well, what difference does it make? We'll put the gold, we'll just make it pretty. And if we don't like it, we'll keep just keep adding, right? Right. Gracious. Okay, let me grab a smaller brush. Darn sniffly nose. Feel like a five-year-old sniff, sniff, sniff. Just grabbing paint brushes. Give me one second. And this one I let something dry in, which I'm kind of okay with because it gets down in there better. Okay, maybe maybe it's a little too crusty. All right, trash it is. Maybe this one. Let's see how this one does. Ooh, goodness, that's really, really orange. I don't think I've done these on anything but black before. So they're not going to look like they would on the black for sure. Hey, Deborah. Trying to read chat. I'm trying, you guys. Yeah, so Sharon, um, if you will, okay, cool. Yeah, then post links to your channel in there, dear. Absolutely. Whenever you go live, post it in there. And any of us that are around will come hang out with you. For sure. I have this tremendous fear of clicking the go live button and being the only one here. It's always like, what are you going to do if nobody shows up? Oh my goodness. Can you hear her phone? Ping, ping. not my phone that's Manda's phone actually now that I'm getting this no this might be okay once it buffs once I buff it we'll see and I'm totally not seeing chat right now
Okay, let's buff this a second and see what happens. There's a big old glob, right? There it is. There it is. That's better. Okay, let's see. You know what? I should probably put the lid back on that so we go to the next one, right? Okay, so... What else do I want to do? What do you guys think? Darker? Oops. Put some darker stuff in it. I should have glazed it. That's what I should have done was glaze it. You know, I've never... Really, I've never done... Um, with a baby wipe. That makes sense, though. I do see you guys saying darker. I'm grabbing the antiquing stuff and a teeny tiny brush because I don't want the black all over. If I had the clear wax out here, I wouldn't worry about it because I could wax it and then anything would come off of it. But I don't have the clear wax out here. Oh, yeah. And then we can come in. Oh, see the baby? Oh, I see what you mean. Hmm, well done. The baby wipe takes some of the, um, the bronze off, too. Interesting. See, I feel like I'm just never going to get bored with this because somebody's always got a new way to do something. I may eventually suck it up and buy alcohol inks too, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to try. Oops, I don't even have it in screen for you guys. And I was going to say holler at me, but then I'm like, well, that wouldn't do him much good because you're not looking at it anyway. So then I made, I should have maybe done, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to clear wax. I feel like I want to clear wax them so that I can then come in because this is not the look I'm after at all. At all. So... Let's try this again. That's better. And see if I I could have painted the resin pieces first, but I didn't want them like all totally, totally painted like, like these perfect. You know what I mean? All the way around. I wanted them to have a little bit of the, let me see, a little bit of that white. I don't want them to look, um, I don't know, intentional, but not totally intentional. Does that make sense? Oh, 
Oh, I know, Donna. I do it all the time. All the time. But it may, all of this is kind of, I don't know. I've, I've painted furniture for a really long time. But when I get to this kind of stuff, I don't know. It's just It just turns into playtime. And I feel like um, it's all just not as precious to me as the stuff I have for my furniture. Does that make any sense? And, and I think it helps that all of these, all of these supplies that you see on my table tonight have been on sale half off or more. So I didn't pay full price for any of this, but my furniture stuff, like my waxes and paints and things like that, I pay full price for that stuff because it's almost never on sale. So that stuff becomes way more valuable to me. Yeah. And it's not that I'm saying, and I've learned the hard way too. When I've bought this stuff, I tend to not hoard it, but afraid to use it wrong. And then when I go back to it, it's all dried up and it winds up in the trash. So I still didn't really learn how to use it. So that's one of the things I'm going to really try to be better about this year is to be less afraid of doing it wrong or messing something up and just do it. I mean, if I mess it up, so what? I'll repaint it and go over it again. Well, I kind of like that with that. What do you guys think of that? Do we like that? What is what am I putting on there now? It is um, the Nouveau embellishment mousse. Where did it go? There it is. And this I got from huh, Paula. Did I get these from my rusty crown? Is that where these came from? My Rusty Crown is a really nice place to shop, you guys. And she she ships fast. Um, and she doesn't hang on to stuff for long either. Yeah, I think I like that. Yep. Okay. So we're going to, what should we do next? Let's do... Well, that one would be kind of blase. Let's do and see then this is just what they're going to be is just repetitive now. So we'll do this one. This is the stamp that we already use. So we'll set it aside till we decide to come back through them. Let's see. That kind of actually doesn't look bad there. All right, can you guys see it? Which one do you like better? Oop, let me get where you can see. There we go. That one. And I'm like six inches away from the mic, so I'm trying not to yell. Or this one. First one or the second one? First one, first one. Some Donna likes this one. <laughs> this one. Okay, so this one it is. So ink pad. I'm just going to stay standing because... Oh, and I was going to tell you guys, I don't know if you guys use many glazes, but if you have a clear glaze, you can pour um, most anything into that, like paint-wise, uh, and um, make your own tinted glazes, which are super fun. I use them on my furniture stuff really often.
Okay. Kind of centered, kind of straight. Trying to think. Okay, yeah, I do. I have. I was looking to see if I have any of my tins and buckets and stuff over there that I. I'll see if I can get those painted up for you guys, and then I'll show you how easy these bend around to do that stuff. Oh, see that one came out really nice. It does have just a little bit. Can you guys see just a little bit of shimmer in it? It's so pretty. You guys catch it okay there's that one I like it so I don't know where I got that but probably Tuesday probably Tuesday morning would be my guess Oop. or Hobby Lobby would be my guess that's the brand on that one it's a pretty nice ink I think I like it and it's oops it's a pigment so that means I have to seal. Well, I'm going to wax them anyway. So the wax will seal it in. It'll be okay. I hope. Listen to me all like I know what I'm talking about. Not so much, but I'll figure it out. Okay. So let's do, what do we think? The one on now. Dang it. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. It is my nails. <laughs> they are hot mess and black. They're black. Well, this one's navy blue and this one's navy blue. The rest are black with um, paint. <laughs> <coughs> so let's see. Uh, have fun, Michelle. Have fun. Tell Jay we said hey. Okay. Let's see here. I need to meet one second. I have somebody waiting to ask me a question. Give me two seconds. Okay. Dark like your soul. <laughs> All righty. Let's see here. So what color do I want to put down in there? Let's try this. What is this? Is this paint? Sparks. This is sparks. Oh, it's paint. It's paint. Let's do paint. And it's black paint. Oof. Okay. Trying to wash off my paintbrush. One moment. Ooh, that stuff's thick. Okay. Get this done in there and then we'll wax over top of it. Oh, and the waxes will show better because it's black now. Jeez, I'm so smart. Not. Told you guys, I'm a little slow sometimes, but I'll figure it out. So you girls that do mixed media all the time. Oh, just wait, what? Oh, it's okay just to, yeah. I think we were going different places with that, Donna. See, I was thinking full coverage with the black so that I could come over with the wax over top of this and the waxes would pop better. Yes, no. I mean, now that I've got it covered, it's a little late, but I do have other ones to do so I can live and learn. But anyway, I was going to say you girls that do all this mixed media stuff, if you do videos, send me links so I can come watch. Because everybody has such different ideas or techniques or I get, 
it gets overwhelming trying to learn from a whole bunch of different people. It's so much easier to just watch, for me, to watch one or two people do a few things and then once I feel like I, I know what I'm doing, then I can venture off into different or more techniques. Does that? I feel like I can get overloaded on options pretty easily. I do like that stuff. Oop, and then I stuck my finger right in it. Okay. Yeah, see, and that's just it, Lorna. It's like, and I'm not afraid to like, to like learn, but it's, I don't know. It's like you have one way, Donna has a way, Paula would have a way, Maggie would have a way. You know, Louise would do it a different way. And it's like, it's just too much. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Um, you can't see the sparkle in it probably, but um, I feel like I need just, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let me think for a minute. Like, like if Donna was doing videos and teaching her perspective or her techniques, then I feel like once I was comfortable and competent, then I could start looking at other ways or more layers or things like that and not forget what I already knew. It is fun until you, I can, I don't know. I'm the control freak, remember? I don't like to not have a plan like just I don't really just wing it well it's really is kind of out of my wheelhouse that's why Michelle laughs at me every time when I say well just wing it because I really don't just wing it well it's not usually very graceful so now I'm coming back to my you know blue and green because I know that because I like the verdigris look. And this one may not be as verdigris as some of them, but, and it may not even wind up close. I don't know, we'll see. interesting oh i bet it's because i didn't let it dry but i do like the white coming back through you guys see the white coming back through that i don't mind at all all right let's get the blue <laughs> are we interrupting your dinner lorna I feel like that's the place for sorry, not sorry. So how many of you do not have a Dollar General that you have access to and would like some of these jars. <coughs> because if some of you want some of these jars and you truly don't have a Dollar General um, that you have access to, if you let me know 
I'll write it down right here on this paper. Um, and I can go get them for you. And then I'll just add them to your order this week. And you know, obviously they would just, I'm not going to charge you guys for that. They would just be a dollar for them, just like what they're charging at the store for them. That's kind of pretty. I think I kind of like that. Hmm. I wish I had some silver wax. I don't think I do, though. Why do I not have silver wax? Uh, you can tell me. I'm I'm good with ideas. I'm it's the only way I'm going to learn. Just don't think I'm ignoring you if I don't do it because I'm I still suck at doing this and reading chat. I'm not good at both for sure. I'm trying to get better, but we'll see. Where did everyone go? Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> no biggie. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, that stuff is so soft. See, and I don't even know what to do with this stuff. It's like, I don't know. It's paint. I wish it was more waxy, but it's not. It's paint. And it's really hard for me to use on little stuff. Yeah, everybody who's here now is either busy playing or just watching. No chatters. Let's see, the rose gold. Maybe the rose gold. Hmm. I think I want the other one. It's more white. Oh, that luxe one? But it's that one is so creamy. Like, I don't know. It's like trying to smear glue almost. Yeah, this is this is whiter, so it's just highlighting the the white paint that came through, which is okay. If I'd have had silver, I would have totally used silver on this. Aw, Jennifer's still there. There's Lorna and Sharon. Who's working on stuff? Okay, so here's this one. What do you guys think of this one? Yay or nay? And then there, there it is. There's the ring. Yeah, I like this, um, the moose one, yeah. I just have to remember to keep um, plenty. I like doing them on my finger. Yep, I am making them for around top, Jennifer. I am. If you just, and I, you don't have Dollar General by you, right, Jennifer? In Canada, you don't have them. Hey, Sherilyn, <laughs> you did not miss us. We're still here, and I'm just playing tonight, so no big deal. Um, these are only a buck at the Dollar General by us. So Jennifer, if you want some of these jars, let me know and I'll go grab some for you. Same for you, Lorna, if you want some. You don't think I should leave those dollar tags on there? Hmm. Here I was thinking I would just leave them all on there. Just, just kidding. Arr. 
Ugh. So, yeah, there's two. Yeah, so tonight I'm just going to sit here and finish playing around with them. Let's see. Maybe we'll do one more and then I'll end. How do you guys feel about that? Maybe distress. Some of them. Some of that distressing is going out. Um, if I can get enough of these, I'm going to do them in a couple different ways. And I think you can actually order from them online. But of course, you know, then I have to wait for it to get here. And we know how I am about that. Not that one, because it has a crown in the... Ooh, I don't like that, I don't think. Hold on, I got to figure out which... The label's got to be big enough to outsize that. Let's see. I think this one. I think I like the ovalness. Or... I feel like that one's too small, this one. Oh, okay. You never know, Donna. You never know. See, and here's where I'm really annoyed with myself. I forgot that I had brought these to the table, these already painted ones. And I was going to glue these on. I was going to leave some of more of them blank. But like I said, I'm going to go get more, so... It'll be fine, I reckon. Yeah, stamping. Oh, you know what? That'd be super cute, too. Hang on one second. I think I have some rice paper sitting here. I can't put it on any of them, but hang tight. That would be really what I'm thinking, Lorna, after you said that is it'd be really cute to um for more of that distressed look to put rice paper or the nap napkins down and like fade some of it back with the paint like put put like on top of this paint layer then decoupage and then stamp and resin i think that'd be really pretty too Do you not have these stamps by you, Donna? Do you want me to just grab you a set of the stamps? The package? Because all of these were in one package. I think they were like $30. 20, 28 or 30 Hang tight. There's a price tag hanging on the one I didn't open yet. Hold on. And they were all the same price. Oh, yeah. I like that one, too. Look. Oop, where is it? There we go. But yeah, I could stamp some out for you. Or I could, yeah, this one, this one was 33, the Barnwood one. But I'm pretty sure the one with all these labels, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There was 13 um, labels in there for $30. Yeah, they're awesome. Okay. Um, I have some blank rice paper, but it's not super nice quality. I had bought it to run it through the printer, so stamping on it might be okay. Um, 
I don't remember where I put it. Let me go look and see if it's in that drawer. If it's in these drawers over here, I can show it to you real quick. Hold tight. I've got two more drawers to look in. I hid it from myself. Let me look around for it. If I can find that, I will for sure stamp some out for you. Um, the very least, I can stamp it on some tissue paper for you. How's that? If I can't find the rice paper, I will get some nice um, tissue or vellum. I know I have some nice vellum. I could stamp it on. Well, if I can find, make sure I have an ink that won't smear, that I can get dry, so it'll make it to you. Otherwise, I could do it on some vellum, too. The stamps, they're IODs. They're the Iron Orchid. Iron Orchid. And you can get them on, let's see, Amazon. You can get them... Um, Jamie Ray Vintage sells them um, on her website. Um, Etsy has them. You could probably, find, I don't shop eBay ever, so I, I never know what's on eBay. <laughs> Tissue paper. Okay, I'll stamp some out for you, Louise. Absolutely. Um, yeah, let me write that on my little note pad right here. Um, do stamps for Donna P. Louise yeah, see I only have um, I think I only have gold stays on hang on let me see I only have gold stays on, that's what you're getting it in. Oh, and that's not stays on. I don't think I have any. Wait, hold on. Let me see. I got rid of a bunch of my ink pads because they were horrible. Yeah, the only stays on I have right now is, oh, that Delica, that one that I'm showing you guys, is from... Um, Hobby Lobby, actually. I found another one. My stays on is just the clear. It's the only one I have. See, like, I only buy this stuff when it's ridiculous clearance at Hobby Lobby. Like, this originally was $11. They had it marked down to $2.74. This one was $9, and it's down to $2.25. I don't know how often I want red, but I mean, it's still, still sealed. This one was five bucks. It's a buck and a quarter. That's how I buy ink. That's why I don't have an aneurysm when, if I had to pay $11 for those, I would not be happy when they dry up. Yeah, they do, Lucy. And I have, um, a refill. We talked about, I, somebody brought that up earlier, and it was for embossing. Hang tight. I'm looking for my, I have a re-inker for it, and it's supposed to be right here with the distress re-inkers, but I'm not seeing, there it is. Which is kind of confusing because I can't believe I don't have another stays on pad because it's got to be just buried in here. But anywho, there it is. But then I metallic refill. So I know that I had 
Maybe I should just put it on this. It's not like I have a... Hmm. What do you guys think would happen if I just put the gold on this one? I should get the re-inkers. I didn't know everybody else had re-inkers. I'm so dumb. I just really thought Tim did or Ranger. I should. <laughs> no, you do not need to send me some ink, Miss Donna. I will figure it out. I will, because if I can do... Because this is a dye ink. If this is, I mean, because a reinker is a reinker. I mean, I could just reink this pad with my with my archival or stays on whichever, and just put my own label on here so I know which ink it was. As long as they're all, because this is a dye ink. So as long as I put another dye ink on it, I should be okay, right? I mean, a dry ink pad is a dry ink pad. And this one's a dye ink pad, the Raven. So I should be able to put another black dye ink on this one, right? Uh-oh. No, don't do that. Keep my brand separate. Okay. Different formulas. Somehow I knew you were, I knew that was going to be the answer. Use, see, everybody says that. Why can I never, everybody says, go to Walmart, go in this aisle and the, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. And there's the glycerin. I can never find the glycerin ever. And I'm going to buy stays on. Okay. Seems to be the theme of the evening stays on black. Okay. And when I order the ink pad, I'm going to order the reinker. I'm not even going to mess around with trying to buy it at the store because I'll probably never find a reinker at the store, right? Oh, our Walmart, you have no idea. You really have no idea. They are some of the most unhelpful people. You ask them where something is and they stand there and look at you like you just talk to them in Greek. And then they stand there and point in the general direction of where you need to go. Okay. Timber Brown. Oh, a V. Okay. You guys are falling in Timber Brown. You know, you're falling into enabler category, right? Oh no. Okay. Okay. I will. I will do it. I have never spent a lot of money on ink pads. Never, never, ever. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I just didn't, but I will. I promise I will. <laughs> because it works. Exactly. I'm just giving you guys a hard time. It's not like I don't enable all of you and encourage you. I get it. <laughs> exactly right but see I would rather sit here and ask you guys like which are your favorites and things like that before I just go buy a bunch of stuff and then don't like it because then what am I going to do with it be like here I don't like this stuff do you guys want it I mean that's like I mean it's fun when you go I don't know, like, like street fairs and things like that. And like, there's all the food trucks and stuff and you get stuff and then you like take it back and you're like, ew, this is gross here. Taste it. And you know, your husband will always taste it. Your girlfriend's going to look at you like, uh, no, but guys will always take it. Well, you know what? If I don't like it, then I'm supposed to hand it off to you guys. <laughs> exactly. Donna. Exactly. And I might be wrong. It may not be stays on you guys when I'm saying clear. It, I might be thinking of something else entirely. I am not the ink pad girl. I'm really, really not. I may be totally talking 
out of the wrong side of my mouth. I may be totally, totally wrong. So don't, don't drive yourself crazy looking for clear stays on. Do not. Um, and maybe, maybe they, that pad could be 10 years old for all I know. Who knows? Does what smell? And I can't smell right now anyway. See, you guys are weird that say stays on smells good. I've heard you guys go on and on about what does it smell like? What does it, what is that smell of stays on? It smells so good. I think you guys are goofy. Versamark, maybe that's what I mean. See, who knows? Yeah, I will never sit here and pretend like I have a clue when it comes to this stuff. <coughs> I just use what I use. And like a lot of my cards, when I was doing lots and lots of cards, I left blank insides or I printed my sentiments on the printer and then I um, cut them in my with my die cuts. Well, with my dies and made die cuts. So I've never been a big inker. So never ever hesitate to correct me when I'm talking about inks. So Versamark is what I used when I was embossing not stays on. Why didn't you guys say that earlier? Or did you say that earlier? And I just missed it. it smells like cherries. <sighs> yeah, I don't know anything about it. But see, I've discovered that's half of the fun about coming on with stuff is when I don't know, I can be like, okay, you guys, so I have this. Now, what do I do with it? What is it and what do I do with it? And there's always two or three of you or half a dozen of you out there that knows what I'm supposed to do with it. I think that's what makes it fun. And I think that's part of the reason I finally decided to jump into some of the... Um, Mixed media stuff. I feel like that's, can you guys see? There we go. See, so I've got the, this, I've got the two. Is that too small, do you think? Can't tell. Hey, Ange, how are you? Oh, I think I like that one. but I do what I'm not supposed to do. See, I don't even know what that is, Lucy. What am I, which items am I using that I'm, does that make sense? Which, am I using all of them inappropriately? I think it's because I don't know what I'm doing. That I just have to convince myself that if I fail, I'll just redo it, which is like really weird territory for me. Oh, I know this like weird flu sinus crud crap. It's horrible, right, Angela? Listen, she's in Arizona, so I'm yelling. Like, I think I have to talk louder for her to hear me. <laughs> Did I spontaneously combust? No, I don't think so. Not yet, although there's a few people around me that are waiting for it to happen. I think, or, well, I don't, I shouldn't say waiting for it to happen, are convinced that it will happen one day. For sure. 
Ooh, is that straight? This one may not be straight. Might be crooked. Yeah, I think I'm going to finish stamping these and then I'll come back and paint them all. Yep. I don't know why I keep sitting. It's not like I can stamp sitting. Might as well just stay standing. Ooh, no, not that one. There we go. And I tipped it so I could see you guys. Oh, good night, Lisa. Sleep good. I feel like that's all I've done is like sleep, like bear hibernation kind of sleep. <laughs> you did get a lot of books all at once, didn't you, girly? Ooh, that one, I like that too. Look at that one. Yeah, see, when you like your stuff, I think that's half the battle, yeah? Let's see here. I really want to use that square one, but nothing seems to... I think we just used that one. Let's see. Where's the one with the crown on it? There it is. Oh, yes. That one on there. Ooh, old quilting magazines. Those sound pretty. I knew you'd like that, Mags. Oh, that makes me think. Angela said scanning. Do any of you guys have a portable scanner? Like that portable wand scanner thing. Is that Lorna Taylor still here? Because she'll take this and run with it. I just know it. It's called a magic wand. It's because of the what I used as my stamp. See, it, it just folds up right around it. Oops, hold on. Let me get up here where you can see. It just bends. I used packaging. It's just um, clear packaging from, I don't even, it's like pillow boxes, honestly. I don't even remember what came in them. Um, but yeah, that's why I, that's why I use these because then I can wrap it around anything and it just, it bends everywhere and it'll stick to it. But that's why I use these, but I can get around real jars, cans, tins, buckets, any of that stuff. So Angela, hang on. Let me see if, let me put the lid on this. Where did I hide? There it is. Hold on. So I have this one. Okay. And I scanned with it all day the other day. And there's, let me see. Can I get it where you guys can see it? Hold on. There it is. Right there is the sensor so that you can feed items through here. And this is what makes it realize that there's something there and it's supposed to scan it to the, where, oh, the little chip that's in the little um, card, the SD card that's in this. Um, but the, it won't sense that there's papers there. So 
The only way I can use it now is to take it out of here and scan with it, which I really don't want to do. So does anybody have this? Yeah, that royal one. See, funny that you would say that. This one that has the crown. I want to stamp this one on a blank one like this that doesn't already have a resin piece and then glue the crown on top. Because I think that would be super cute to then have that glued on top of there. Gotcha. See, I haven't tried it in a book yet. I'm just really irritated that this, because then I can just run the cord from this to the laptop and it just moves everything right over there. Crackle medium paste. I don't have crackle. I do not. I'm out of crackle. Like I don't even have a big jug of crackle for my furniture, which is super annoying. And I keep forgetting to get some. And I thought about doing what I used to do, you know, before. Because when you live out here in the middle of nowhere, you learn to find shortcuts for things pretty quickly. And crackle paste was one of those things when crackling was at its height of popularity. I used a lot of Elmer's glue, let me tell you. Okay, gotcha. I know, right? No crackle. I did, yeah, I've done everything except have the hubs look at it. And I have, the only reason I haven't asked him yet is he's been, um, because we've had ice and, you know, the snow and stuff, a little bit of snow. Oh my gosh. We had three inches of snow and they acted like we had a 10 foot blizzard. It was ridiculous. Um, but anyway, he's been salting and plowing. So on the interstate, so, and getting home late, well, Working midnights, let's put it that way. You guys know what that is. Um, so I don't have the heart to ask him to look at it. So I'm just going to ask him this weekend when he's off and see if he can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah. Yes. I was ready to totally, totally give up. Well, that square one actually doesn't look bad on there. Ooh, way too tiny. This is gray Poupon. I think it's hilarious. Maybe that little label on that giant, that might work, right? Let's try it. Let's just do it. Yeah, Paula got snow in Texas this morning. Which, I mean, I know some of Texas does get snow, but Paula's part of Texas does not typically get snow. There you go back standing up. Uh, good night, Paula. Thank you. There we go. And I like, I like how they're coming out. Not like perfect, perfect. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I'll stamp out these two and then we'll probably wrap it up. Let's see, what is that? Marmalade. 
the flower or do we like I kind of like that one so I'm going to use this rounded one it is more accurate right to line it up and I never get good pressure I do have a taller table over here that I could have but then I would have had to have moved everything I keep thinking about that too that I could swing the camera around to the other table and just stand over there but I'm thinking about it I prefer to stand tell you the truth um, I'm really wanting to look into some new tables like actually measure up here and see what's going to work and get a new table configuration going because I feel like I want new work tables up here. I do like that one too. But I think I want like old workbenches out of an old garage or something because I can't damage those at all. And we can sand them down and re you know make them smooth and stuff and then I can totally mess them back up again. Yeah, perfectly imperfect, exactly. Yeah, but I think like the old workbenches is what I have in mind. So this summer I'm hoping I can come across some at some auctions and stuff. It's what we have in our kitchen as an island. Oh my gosh, it's got an amazing old slate that takes four men and a horse to move. It is so stupid heavy, the slate top on it. But it's so, so cool. I love it. I don't want to have to figure out how we would get it upstairs or ever get it downstairs. So that's one reason it never came up here. But it's awesome in the kitchen. But something along that line. There we go. Josephine's famous marmalade. Nice. You guys can catch a little. There you go. He caught the shimmer on there. So I think that's going to be it for tonight. If I get some more of them. Oh, my stuff. I'm so eclectic. I really am. I like... It, I'm not really a huge farmhouse. I like some farmhouse. Um, but honestly, I I just like old, beat up, vintage. Somebody just drug it out of a barn. That has kind of always been my style. <laughs> One of these days I will. One of these days, we're repainting um, all the rooms this spring. Once it gets cool enough, I can get the windows open. I'm painting. Thanks, Ange. Um, so that'll be super fun. Um, I'm trying to decide um, I don't know. I, I usually, I'm not afraid of color, which probably doesn't surprise anybody. I don't like a lot of white walls. So, but I'm thinking um, somewhere, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, almost like deep coastal colors. Maybe that would explain. Maybe that's close is kind of where I'm headed. Really gray all the way. Wow. I don't know. I've always, I don't know. I like color. I do like color in like the house on the walls and stuff. I like a lot of color. So like my dining room is um, 
it started out as caterpillar yellow and then I glazed and stenciled and all that junk over the top of it. Um, my living room is like um, a dirty fire engine red, but like a real dirty brown kind of color of that. And then my bedroom is uh, emerald but I glazed over that with like a metallic glaze over the top of it. Um, so yeah, so we're repainting and <laughs> going totally different tones. Lots and lots of coastal colors is where I'm headed. Oceanic blues and turquoise, nice. Oh, well, see, that makes sense, though, because they're your they're your background so that your colors pop. That makes perfectly good sense. Thanks, Laurel. I thought I got so quiet I put you to sleep. So, but anywho, yeah, thanks for coming, you guys. And I'm just going to keep talking as I hit the end broadcast, but um, invoices will... Um, be happening tomorrow and Saturday and then we'll be back on Monday. Oh, and I'm going to do Louise's, the rest of Louise's stuff on Monday, just so everybody knows, come, 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 come for Louise's things. Um, I think that's it. So good night. Thanks for coming and I'll see everybody. See, I'm trying to do this and talk. It's not working.